Hi there, my name's Andrew, I'm one of the final year medical students. Could I just check your name and date of birth, please? Sure, it's James Alexander, 13th of December 1989. Nice to meet you, James. Um, today I've been asked to examine your heart. This will involve looking from the end of the bed, feeling a pulse in your neck and your wrist, and also listening to the heart as well. Would that be okay? That's fine. Have you any pain anywhere before we begin? No. Have you any questions? No. Okay, James, we can start the exam now, and I'm just going to start by having a look from the end of the bed. James, I'd like to start by looking at your hands. If you could just bring them up in front of you, please. And if you could turn them over. Fantastic. And if you could bring two fingernails together like this for me. And again, if you could just bring your arms out in front of you. I'm just going to assess the temperature of your arms. And I like to feel the pulse in your wrist. And now I'm going to feel the pulse in the other wrist at the same time. James, I'm now going to assess for something called a collapsing pulse. So in this, I'm just going to have my hand on your wrist and raise your right arm rather briskly. Do you have any pain in your right shoulder at all before I begin? No, I don't. Okay. That's fine, you can relax. I'm now going to feel a pulse at the front of the elbow. Okay, James, I'm now going to listen and then feel a pulse in the neck. When I'm listening, if you could hold your breath for me. And breathe normally. I'm now going to feel the pulse. Could you just turn your head to the left for me? James, do you have any pain in your tummy at all? No, I don't. I'm just going to press down on your tummy. And bring your head back. James, I'm now going to have a look at your face and eyes. Okay. If you could just look straight ahead for me. And I'm now going to pull down on your lower eyelid. And if you could just open your mouth for me. And lift your tongue to the roof of the mouth. That's great. I'd now like to more closely inspect the chest. If you could just lift your right arm up for me. And your left arm. I'm now going to feel for a pulse on the chest. James, I'm now going to listen to your chest and I'll be feeling the pulse in your neck at the same time, okay?
more for me. Deep breath in and out. Hold it there. And breathe normally. And roll onto your left hand side for me. Deep breath in and out. And hold it there. And breathe normally. James, I'm now going to listen to the back of your chest. If you could just sit forward for me. And I'm just going to feel at the bottom of your back. I'm now going to press on your ankles. James, that completes the examination. Thank you very much. You can now get dressed. In summary, I performed a cardiovascular exam on James, a 27 year old male. On inspection, he had no peripheral stigmata of cardiovascular disease. His pulse was regular. On palpation, he had an undisplaced apex and he had no heaves or thrills. On auscultation, he had normal first and second heart sounds with no added sounds. This was a normal cardiovascular exam. To complete, I'd like to do a full peripheral vascular exam. Look at an ECG and measure James's blood pressure. 